fun to be here. Fun to be here. Fun to play these guys. Fun to be in this environment. Fun to test yourselves. Uh, we have great respect and admiration for the Bison and what they do. And uh, I've been in Frisco the last two years and I've seen you guys down there. So, uh, but proud of our guys. Proud of our effort. Uh, these games, they come down to a few breaks. And as I told our guys in the locker room, when you're really when you're a really good football team like the Bison are, you sometimes you walk away as a team and you kind of go, Oh yeah, we almost had those guys. Well, I've said that a lot of teams I've been on too. Like, yeah, that's you almost had us. So it's not always about almost, but you can't discount the effort. And uh, I thought we played great on defense. Really did a nice job. And it comes down to a couple plays, and you just have to we have to do a little bit better job in that. And sometimes you look at the end and kind of go, oh, you know, if you don't turn it over there at the end, or we had a couple of penalties along the way that, that really kind of hurt us. And, but credit the Bison, they, they, they played well and did a nice job. And that's a, that's a really good football team. Uh, you guys have had a couple of really good quarterbacks here, and uh, those guys are getting paid, and I think this kid is, might be as good or better than those guys. Uh, he's a talented player. But it's fun to play and do a lot of creative things. I think when you see a power football team, a lot of times they just line up and try to hammer it at you, but they do a lot of variety, a lot of personnel, a lot of motion shifting, keep you on your toes. Fun to play those kinds of teams. Um, but I'm proud of our guys, proud of the effort. I thought our coaches did a really good job, had a really good plan. I thought our guys were ready to go. And it was fun to be here, and it's what you practice and what you play for. And uh, there's still, uh, I'm sure Matt told you, it's, there's a lot of football, <laughs> a lot of football left. You get hyped up for these kind of games early on, and it's cool and it's fun, but there's still a lot of football left, and a lot of good football teams coming on both of our schedules. So uh, we start Big Guy next week, and uh, we'll have to get back on the plane and get ready to go. And it will uh, will not be an easy road, but uh, a lot of respect for the program here and what's gone on. And uh, it was. Fun thing to be a part of. So, all right. Thanks. See ya. Uh, uh, Jake, just talk about the pressure there. Obviously, I don't think they sack too much, but they're getting you. I mean, what was the challenge of trying to get the ball off quick and then do some stuff against the defense? Well, the challenge was moving at a tempo that was going to try to neutralize what they're great at. And they do have a great pass rush. They have an exceptional defensive line. Yeah, but you know what? That's that's almost every week. I mean, every week we try to get after the quarterback, and it's our, my job to get the ball out of my hand as quick as I can. And uh, like I said, switch up the tempos and try to work the screen game. And there's different things that go into that. But tip my tip my cap to you know everybody on that side of the ball for that. I mean, they are um, very disciplined. Uh, they know what they want to do. They do their job at an exceptional level, and uh, they did a better job than me today. They really won that battle. So, um, like I said, just a lot of respect for them. And we'll be back next week. We got eight games, and uh, for us, it's a really big deal. The big Scott. So. What happened on the goal line? Uh, did, did they do something that caught you off guard? Or? No, they just they just dropped in their zone, and just try. I just tried to get through the progression of the play, and uh, the ball I threw it ended up being the last option in the progression. And uh, being third down, I knew I would have had to take a chance on one of those third or fourth down, I thought maybe I could squeeze it in there and try to get a touchdown. Um, but as you can see, it didn't work out. So that's part of the game. That's part of being in the arena. Um, you know, you can't go back in time and switch those things. You just got to trust it, trust your instinct, let it fly. And, you know, two weeks ago, it worked, and we won the game. Uh, today, it did not. And that's part of football. It's part of life. So uh, I'm not going to dwell on it very much. Just understand that Party. Eric, um, for a non-conference game, I think there's a lot going on there. Does it feel like a non-conference game, or is there a little more to it? Um, pretty much, we taking it by, I mean, one week at a time. I mean, it is a non-conference game, but that's a big game for us as far as as it goes into playoffs and everything. Um, but yeah, we're just taking it one week at a time and just going on to the next week. We got the grades next week. What you brought up, Bedroom, did that feel like one of those 80s, 90s, old time tussles? <laughs> I didn't get beat up as much as I did then, I'll tell you that. Uh, but it was always fun. Uh, we had, uh, I played against the Bison in 82 when we did win, and then coached in those other three years, and uh, we came back here and did not win. Uh, but you have a lot of respect for teams that do well. I think sometimes, I don't know, everybody's 
fired up about the underdogs. It takes, it's, it's harder to be the person that's, to, to be their best every single day and every single week when everybody's taking their best shots. I have a lot of respect for that. So uh, we knew it'd be great. We knew the crowd would be great. And uh, I'm still double checking all my relatives. I think most of them were in blue and gold. So I think they're still going to get a Christmas present. But, uh, but it was, we knew it'd be a great crowd, be a great environment. And it'd be a really big time game. And that's really why you play college football. You, and you want against, you want to go against really good football teams. I think we're a really good football team. And uh, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll bounce back. Eric, what were you able to do defensively to slow down their quarterback? He, he, he made some, he forced him into some poor throws, and he never really got going offensively, too. What did you guys do? I mean, as far as our game plan, we just wanted to stop the run. We know uh, they got some good backs, and, and then him as well. He can run the ball pretty good. So we wanted to force him into making throws, into tight windows, everything we can to disrupt him as far as throwing. And I figured. I mean, it kind of affected him a lot. Coach, the game with Eastern Washington last year, this game here, do you feel like you're this close from being at the very top of this division? Uh, yeah, but like I said, it's not about being close. And I know that's not really like a cliche. you got to be able to cinch that up. And I've been on enough great teams to kind of know when you just, again, like whether it's a penalty here, or a play here, or a play there. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're, we're certainly are. Uh, we're, we're an interesting program, and you guys know from the days when we played you before. And uh, I sit here and look at this team room right here, and I'm going, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And uh, you guys have spent some money and some time and some energy developing one of the great college football programs in the country. And uh, UC Davis can be that. We're building a $50 million building right now. There's a lot of great football players in California that want a great education, that are willing to pass up Mountain West and Pac-12 schools to come to UC Davis. And uh, so... I fully expect us to be a team that's one of those teams that is least in the conversation somewhere, somewhere in the bracket, somewhere. And uh, we have a top 10 education, a top 10 football program, and that's a nice mix. And so, well, like I said, it's not always about being close. We're, we're getting better. We are. We're, we're improving. Kevin Blue and our athletic director, Gary May, have done a really good job, and we're getting really good football players. I think every guy we've signed since I've been there has had at least one Mountain West offer. Some have had Pac-12 offers. They're starting to kind of see what's going on at UC Davis. Uh, so I, we've got a great staff. I fully expect us to continue to be better. Jake, what were you guys trying to set up on the deflected interception? Uh, we had that screen set up for a while. I mean, we were trying to get uh, their defensive ends to come up the field, come up the field, try to bring a heavy pass rush. We just tried to slip the screen to the back. It looked good, um, but that's, I'm telling you, it's, it's so hard to explain when, when those things happen, but the only explanation I have is that it's football. I mean, that is the difference between winning and losing and executing and not executing. It gets a finger on the ball, it comes all the way over the other side, and it falls in the lap. I mean, that's just how the game is meant to be played, especially when it's a great opponent um, in a great environment in the fourth quarter with the game on the line. And I've been on the end of success, and I've been on the end where we've Taking the drive down, scored and won the game, and I've been on the end of this. And you got to understand as a player that that's going to happen. You're not, you can't always win. That's not how life works. And, uh, the better I can remind myself of that, the better I'm going to be uh, tonight. But um, you know, we have a week, we have another game next week, and we're excited for that. Let's go two more questions. we got to get these guys. No tornado warnings today, I hope. If there is, I'm standing at one of your houses. <laughs> Dead ready. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.